tonight. Amen. We praise God for you joining for This Is Life of the World Church. Amen. A church where, amen, everybody is somebody. Amen. And Christ is all. I am Pastor Tim Brown and I, I want to just tell you, you thank you for all your support and all your prayers. And we praise God. Amen. For you joining us here on tonight. 
amen, for just, amen, to tell the Lord thank you on tonight, amen. And so we're going to just say a word of prayer. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy on tonight. God, we pray, God, that you bless your people, God, in this season. God, bless their travel, God, wherever they may go. And God, let your angel and hedge of protection, God, be forever, forever around them in this season of thanksgiving. Father, we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, and we praise you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you for joining us. And tonight, if you would like to sow a seed, you can do it, amen, by cash app, dollar sign, like, L-I-G-H-T-4701. Amen. Also, you can give by www.paypal.me forward slash L-O-T-W-C. Amen. Church. Amen. That's www.paypal.me forward slash L-O-T-W-C church. Also, you can mail in your seeds of giving on tonight at 4701 North 15th Street right here in Tampa, Florida. Also, P.O. Box 75782. Tampa, Florida, 33675. You can also give tonight to our Tithely app online. Go to Tithe, T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y, and give on our online app on tonight. And we praise God, and we're just going to go into the Word of God. We're not going to be here long on tonight, <clears throat> but we just want to give you what thus says the Lord in this season, amen, and how we ought to be thankful Amen unto God for all the things that he's done in our life. You know, what's going on in the world right now, even dealing with this pandemic and dealing with uh, even the numbers, amen, are spiking out of control. But yet we still give God praise and we give God thanks. Why? Because he's due the praise, he's due the honor, and he's due, amen, uh, of thanking him for all what he has done in our life, even if it looks bad, even if it feels bad, even if things are not going the way we want them to go. Amen. The word of God tells us to always to give thanks unto God and always recognizing who is God and who can change things. Well, how many know on tonight that God can change things? And so we wanted you to get the word of God and we want you to go Amen. To the word of God with us. Amen. To first Thessalonians. Amen. The fifth chapter. Amen. And the 18th verse. First Thessalonians. Amen. Five and 18. That's where we're going to start tonight. Amen. And it says in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God and Jesus Christ concerning you. All right. And so we always recognize. Amen the higher power who can change our lives, who can direct our lives, amen, who can impact our lives. You know, different people can impact our lives, but nobody can impact our lives like God can. And so he's the head of our lives. He's, he's the source, amen, of everything we have, whether it's what we want to have at the time, whether it's uh, whatever status that we're in in our life, we should be gracious unto God and giving God gratitude, amen, for what he's done <coughs> in our lives. And we bless the name of God on tonight for that. And we ought to give thanks unto God. Why? Because once again, amen, he controls everything. He's the source of uh, uh, where he makes provision, he opened doors, amen, that we cannot open ourselves, things that we cannot do, amen, the grace and the mercy of God, amen, allowed us, amen, to even be in this season, what we call, amen, Thanksgiving, we're gathering around, some have lost, amen, loved ones in this pandemic, and someone has lost loved ones even before the pandemic. But tonight, we still give God the glory. We still thank him, amen, for what he's doing in our lives. Why? Because things can be, amen, worse than they are. 
you can be in a, a predicament than worse than you are tonight. And for that, you ought to give God glory. For that, you ought to tell him thank you. Why? Because, amen, he woke you up this morning. Amen. He started you on your way. Amen. You have the activities of your limbs. Someone didn't wake up this morning. Someone, amen, uh, did not uh, have life this morning. But the Bible says, amen, he came and that we may have life, amen, and have it more abundantly tonight. And so it is through the Spirit of God, it is through Jesus Christ himself, amen, that we can have the life, amen, he has designed us to have. And so we just want to tell God thank you on tonight. We just want to recognize, amen, that he is the source of our life. And when you realize and understand, amen, despite of what's happening, that he is the source of our life, amen, you have the spirit of thanksgiving, thanksgiving is not, amen, a temporary thing, it's not a seasonal thing, it is it, every day, every day, amen, we should give thanks unto God, not just, amen, this time of the season, amen, where we gather around at the table and eat turkey and dressing and and apple pie, and pecan pie, and potato pie, and all of this stuff, amen, but we ought to give God thanks every day, amen, that we wake up in the morning, every day, amen, that we have, amen, the sun shining on our face, and we can feel, amen, the sun, the sun shining on our face, we can look up in the sky, and we can see the skies, amen, that God has created. We can feel the wind blow, amen, a cool breeze over our, our face and our skin. And, and for that, and only that, we ought to give God thanks. Not for the houses that you have, not for the money that you have in the bank, amen, but you ought to give God thanks for the things that he has done in your life. That's a part of it, amen, but we want to thank God tonight for life in general, Amen. We want to thank God that somebody did not make it, amen, on tonight. Somebody did not make it on today. Even, amen, up to this year and this point, amen, someone did not make it. And uh, there's a song, amen, uh, amen, by Ty Tribbett that said, it could have been me. It could have been you tonight, amen, that is laying in the morgue. It could have been you tonight, amen, that has been stricken, amen, with even with coronavirus, amen, and it took you out. But if God touched you, amen, and did not allow, amen, coronavirus.